Hello and welcome back to Lawrence Place, sir, you are being hunted. We've just made it onto the second island, off to the south, so let's have a look around here and see what we can find. The terrain on this island looks fairly similar, but a bit more sort of mountainous. So whilst the last island felt like just generic countryside, there's the balloon, this one feels a bit more highland-like. So, it's as if by going south I've ended up in Scotland. <laughs> Instead of Yorkshire, perhaps. My previous theory was to, s to follow the coast. That seemed to work quite well on the central island. I don't know whether that's true on the outer ones as well. Oh, I see some lights over there. What's that? It'd be useful if I had a map and I could sort of note down some of these places and use them as supply caches, essentially. Because this is reasonably close to the boat. I wonder if I could take that, tempt that robot over and take it out. That seems like a bad idea somehow. <laughs> Just going to end in tears. Specifically, my tears. <laughs> I could use one of these protect me talismans to make myself invis invisible, invincible, and then run in and smack it with the um, hatchet. And perhaps nick its shotgun. That'd be quite nice. Could do with a shotgun. Not that I'd have any ammunition for it, apart from whatever the robot's carrying and I can get from it. Alright, no more doors on this hut. There is a campfire there though, so if I had a dead rabbit I could cook it, but I don't, so I won't. The theory of the artifacts being on the edge of the island would definitely true for the first one. I've no idea whether it is for this one, but then there's only three on it, so if, it, if they were, they'd be 120 degrees apart. So I'd be potentially, on av well on average, I don't know. Or maybe they'd be 90 degrees apart because they'd be because you'd have the boat at the fourth position. But then that assumes they're evenly spread out. And I don't think they would... Oh! There's some smoke. And some robots, of course. Right, let's top up the old vitality. We'll have um, a drop of sherry. Okay, that's above 70%. That's, that's good enough for me. And I think the drunkenness will have worn off by the time I get close enough to... Um, care. Oh, no, the sherry's quite strong and I've not had any solid food. I've just been drinking tea and sherry. They're guarding it quite carefully. But last time an alarm clock over like this where the bear trap or two near it and then a flanking maneuver worked pretty well for me let's give that another try there's only two robots there there's no dogs this time and we haven't got any of the, and I haven't seen any of the big robots yet it's just been the normal ones and the hot air balloon So let's try and flank around this way as much as possible. Then I can make a run in for it and grab the artifact when they get distracted. I think this is probably close enough. They're staying quite close to the um, the artifact, guarding it quite carefully. go. <laughs> oh, nice small one. Excellent. Yep, that one definitely got caught in the um, in the bear trap. So let's see if I can get in there and give it a jolly good thrashing. And what for? His partner's heading away, that's fine. Excellent. That's what we like. Oh, I'll set the raw meat as well, just in case. Ho ho ho, now I have a uh, shotgun. 
Uh, oh dear, let's rearrange the inventory a bit. Right. Do I have any ammunition for it? Two rounds. Cool. Right. That, I feel, was rather successful. Uh, where's the other? There's the other bear trap. Have that back as well. If all of the fragments on this island are that sort of size, then this is going to be nice and easy. I feel this is going quite well. So, there's one more trinket to find on this island at the moment. And so far, it hasn't been too bad. I feel it's worth possibly worth going up to that house and water tower and thing up in the middle. Because there's something different that I haven't seen on any of the other... On the, on the, the first island, and it feels like... You know... It feels like a central point like that is a good place to find treasure, I guess. There's a campfire here. I do have... I do have some raw meat, um, but I feel that cooking one piece of raw meat is probably a waste of matches, especially given that I have so much other stuff that I can use to keep my vitality up. I'm going to not worry about that for now. I don't know. Maybe I've, I've played. I'm playing the game as the default character rather um, rather than one of the easy mode ones, but perhaps because I haven't won it. Yet it's it's easier than it it's it's, it's, it's easy mode. I, I don't know. Whatever it is, I've not I've not felt like I'm struggling too much yet. But maybe the islands will get gradually harder as I as I go through them. One of the things that makes the game indirectly more difficult is that there's no save point on the map on this map apart from the boat. Whereas the first island, every time I took an artifact back to the central circle, the stone circle, I was able to save the game. But now, unless I get well, I suppose I could go all the way back to the boat with each each time I get one. But at the moment, I'm reasonably happy not. <laughs> it may be famous last words and unwise and so on. Especially given that I'm moving towards the sound of robots. But I do want to investigate this house. They're getting quieter. I think they're moving away from me. Faster than I'm moving towards them. Which makes sense given that I'm crawling through the undergrowth. Okay, it's nice and quiet now. Let's investigate this house. Yeah, tea just fills, you right, fills your inventory, uh, health right back. Uh, uh, vitality right back up again by the looks of it. <laughs> this house model has clearly been just dropped into the uh, landscape with absolutely no regard for... Ooh, a rabbit. I should go and find somewhere to cook that. Um, with absolutely no regard for how well it fits in with the shape of the land. So we've got windows and doors and things that are poking out through the, through the ground. Oh, there's a uh, campfire. Very handy. I don't know how bad an idea this is going to be. I am aware that lighting a fire in a survival game is a good way to bring... Where was it? Whatever guards that game may have down upon, upon you. Oh, here it is. But that said, also I have a rabbit and a chunk of meat to cook, and I sort of oh, I sort of want to do that because it's there. Okay, so presumably I can't can't do that yet. I need to light the fire, then cook the rabbit, then cook the meat. That was quicker than I was expecting, and then run away and hide. Is that going to bring all the robots running? I mean, I was expecting it to. Maybe because it's during the day, it's not quite so noticeable. I don't know. Anyway, there's still one more artifact. Yeah, they're definitely moving in on that point. That might be quite a good distraction then. Um, there's definitely one more artifact to find on this this island. 
So I've been over there by that, what looked like the end of an abbey or monastery or something. There's nothing along here. Let's keep going around the island then and see what we find. We're about... Well, let's see, this is the... Well, this is pretty much still the southern tip of the island, so I'm about halfway round. And I spent a bit of time messing around with that um, building in the middle, hoping it would have some exciting stuff without a great deal of success. Although I did get the rabbit from there, I suppose. That'd be, that'd be nice. A bit of... A, a bit of uh, meat to soak up some of the alcohol I keep drinking. <laughs> and all the tea. I have to admit, I've not felt very threatened on this island. It's been... Yeah, there's been a couple of patrols wandering around. And yes, the, the um, artifacts were guarded. But generally, it's just been... I mean, I'm, I'm running through the middle of the landscape at the moment. Across the moors. And there's nothing around to... To worry about. Which... I don't know, maybe I'm being lulled into a full sense of security security. Maybe it's just... Well, there's a robot. Very, very... Maybe it's just there's not very many of them around here. Ah, there's the, um, there's the, the third artifact. Yeah, it's... The robots, individually, aren't actually that scary. They're, um... They're pretty stupid. They're not very observant. Oh, this one, these ones have got a dog, though. That might make things a little bit harder. Uh-oh. as well now. I do have a bear trap left. <laughs> it was a bit famous last words that, wasn't it? Oh, no, they spotted me. I'm bleeding. Uh, I thought I was hidden better than I was. Or rather, I thought their vision was worse than it apparently is. Ow. Uh, use that. I would advocate discretion, sir. It might be best to run and hide. But if you have found a weapon, perhaps you can use it to fend them off. <laughs> yeah, he's full of good advice, that guy, isn't he? Um, are they still chasing? I don't know. Let's change direction a bit. I don't want to go up the hill. That'll make me far too obvious. I don't want to go under the hot air balloon. That'll make me far too obvious. Ah... Uh, Okay, I will go up the hill a bit. Right, I'm he my health is going up now to have bandaged myself. That was worth definitely worth doing. I don't know how, how good the dog is at tracking. I don't have any ammunition left for the shotgun. So the hatchet is my only... What is that noise? That's kind of scary. Sounds like some sort of robot pheasant or something. Right, so that was um, the commentator's curse, I think they call it, don't they? I was just saying how the um, the robots don't seem to actually be all that dangerous, and they're not very observant and so on, and immediately got spotted. <laughs> uh. Still, I got away. I think I took one of the robots out as well. And I think I've shaken them off. I don't know whether that's because of the distance I went, or uh, or the time, or because they, I managed to lose them. But I do seem to have managed to lose them. So I'm going to try and head back around this way now. Keeping a very careful eye out for them. I think what I did wrong there 
was I approached, they were just on the other side of that ridge line. So as I was approaching, I either got close enough that the dog smelled me or the hunters heard me. So they knew I was there. Whereas, if I, uh, but I couldn't see them because there was the ridge line in the way. So let's try not to make that mistake again. Unless I've completely lost my sense of direction, which to be honest is entirely possible. I think they're somewhere over this hill. Wait, that's the water tower again. Is that the same? Yes, this is the sa No, that's not the same house. Yeah, okay, I've got... Oh, I have got myself lost. On the plus side, that's given my health health time to uh, recover. I think this might be the moorland I was running across when I was saying how little threat. There they are. Yep. Just over that rock. So. But now there is only one robot and his dog. Because I took the other one out with a shotgun. And I also lost one of my um, bear traps over there, but that's a... I'm not going to try and find that again, I don't think. Okay, so... No. Right, this is better cover as well. I'm completely hidden over here. At least when I'm in the long tufts. That said, if the dog smells me, then... Oh, doomed. Okay, standard plan, I think. We'll put down a bear trap and an alarm clock for the full time, full minute, as usual. And then I'm going to head over towards that tree and try and circle round a bit. I don't know, unless... well, we'll see how this goes. I hope that isn't too far away and it'll still they'll still be able to hear it. Okay, I'm completely hidden in these ra in this grass. So hopefully, how close can I dare I get? I think this is probably close enough. Come on, stop tick ticking and go off. <laughs> there we go. They're investigating. Yes, they are. Something's gone in the trap, I heard it click. Did I get the dog? That's much less useful because they don't have shotguns. Yes, the dog's in the uh, bear trap. Uh, well, we'll wait and see. I might not bother going back to retrieve that. Especially as the robot appears to be... St oh no, it's going now. Oh, no, it got free. Bah. Okay, never mind. Forget that. I don't know if the bear trap is even recoverable after, if, after it's been um, used up like that. Okay, now we need to get back to the north point on the island and get back in the boat. I'm guessing the uh, the Pentagon on my um, compass is the boat, because it's the right sort of place, north end of the island. Yeah, there we go, there's the jetty. Uh, rope suckers, made it. And that is... Oh. Oh, I've only got two of them. <laughs> no. All right, but since I'm here and unable to, apparently unable to count, I'm going to save at the boat, because I think it, things are going quite well so far. Um, and then I'm going to head back into the island. But I think that's going to be for the next episode. So I'll need to head back in and actually look around a bit more carefully this time, rather than just hoofing it all the way up the island. But I might use the fairies a bit to sort of help me find the, find the next, the, the last one.
that'll be for the next episode. Thank you for watching, and I hope you'll join me for that. I'm quite enjoying this game. I think it's going going quite well so far. Lots of sneaky sneaky, and uh, and not too many horrible deaths. So, yeah, I hope I'll see you next time when there'll be a bit, bit, a bit more of it, and hopefully another island. Thanks for watching.